What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is Backstage Edition. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the MDT Action Figure Arena. We are here in the backstage, and you guys saw in the other day's video, I did update the backstage. I'm very happy with the way it turned out, as you guys saw in that video from about three days ago. And I figured, why not do an action figure setup since we got the new setup here in the backstage area. So we're going to update you guys with a great action figure setup in the backstage area right here. Um, before we get started, I do want to give out a little spoiler or a heads up right here. If you guys have not watched MDT Sold Out 2018, you know, the pay-per-view, the PickFed pay-per-view, go check that out before you click on this because there are some things that happen from the pay-per-view that are going to be revealed here. So if you guys haven't checked out Sold Out, go do that before we even get into the setup. I just wanted to put that out there. That way you guys can go catch up on the PickFed, then come back and watch the setup video. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this setup. So I guess we can start off on the left side of our setup and then work our way to the right. But over here, guys, we do just have, as you guys saw in that backstage arena tour, um, we just have, you know, a chair, a table, and then another chair right here. Kind of gives it a realistic feel up next to that wall right there. But right here, we have the brand new Iron Man champion, Rusev. You know, he just defeated Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes at MDT Sold Out. The championship sort of just fell from the Raptors into his lap after he got destroyed through that ladder bridge. You know, he recovered, made his way to the the center of the ring and then the championship ended up falling from Cody and Drew fighting over it at the top of the ladder. Ladder tumped over and the championship landed in Rusev's lap and it was a happy Rusev day as you can see there on his t-shirt. So Rusev is a very happy man and he's walking around um, as a roar, roaring lion just walking around the backstage setup. Uh, over here we have a long catering table. I, I got this idea I don't even know where I got this idea. I believe it was my bro TJ from Undisputed Brotherhood. A long time ago, he used to have a really long catering table in his backstage for his WWE action figures. So I figured, you know what, Brad? That's a really cool idea. Let's try and replicate it here. So I took all of my black tables. I actually have like seven more, but I took three of those and stacked them up. We got chairs on either side. And at the end of the catering table right here, we do have the Revolutionary Champion Miz talking it over with the Hurricane. You know, after what happened, it sold out. They're sort of getting back together there because the Hurricane ended up helping the Miz retain his Revolutionary Championship versus Kevin Owens. So they're sort of talking it up right there. We got a little uh, tag team in that happening. Right here we have the Extreme Champion, John Morrison. He's got his championship chilling right here. He has nothing to do. He doesn't really have a direction right now on MDT Live. He just won the Extreme Championship on MDT Live episode number 9, I do believe. So he's got his championship just sort of figuring out. He's got to have his back, uh, you know, turned at all times. He's got to be aware of what's going on around him because the Extreme Championship is on the line 24-7. So you got to know what's going on. He could be attacked at any given moment. Right here we have the MDT Champion, John Cena. He's really happy. You know, he had a great performance that sold out. He's 2-0 in his MDT career. Looking great. He's got his championship and his chain and his hat. And he's got this big cooler right here full of stuff. So he's just going to chill out, have some lunch at the table right there. But uh, John Cena looking good after a great performance at MDT sold out. Moving on down the table, guys, we do have this... Uh, last table right here, and I guess you could say it's reserved for the Bullet Club. We got all the Bullet Club members besides Kenny Omega chilling right here. We got Adam Cole, we have Cody Rhodes, and we have the villain Marty Skrull. They're all just making jokes and stuff, you know, sort of like the jocks. Yeah, sort of just picking on everybody, just chilling down at the end. They know who runs it. So we got Marty down here talking it up about his debut, talking about cracking the Miz in the face with that umbrella, and he's just sort of talking to Cody and Adam there. And then, of course, you have the Bucks of Youth with their brand new MDT Tag Team Championships there. So this, this sort of area is just reserved for the Bullet Club. They're looking good here at the end of the catering table. 
If we go over here, you will see Kevin Owens and El Generico talking it up. And isn't it just cool, guys, to see, like, the backstage? You can see, like, how official it looks with both guys standing there talking, and then you have all the backstage noise. It just looks really awesome. I love the way that looks. But um, Kevin Owens talking to El Generico, you know, what do they have to do? After losing to The Miz at, at Sold Out, you know, he's like, why weren't you there? Why didn't you help me? He did his best, but he ultimately did fail, and Kevin Owens lost to The Miz. So he's trying to get back on track, guys. What is he going to do now that the, uh, the Miz beat him at Sold Out? So Kevin Owens and El Generico trying to figure that out. If we go back over here, um, we do have some stuff set up. Uh, we have AJ Styles. He is hitting the door because he did lose to CM Punk, so he's about to walk out the backstage door right there, and he is headed off, you know, get, a, get some time off after being traded to Vindication. What will he do now? No longer on MDT Live, so AJ Styles is just sort of down on himself right now. We have right here Dean Ambrose. You know, he had an intense, intense matchup with Seth freaking Rollins, and they went to the limit, and he's sort of getting carried out on a stretcher there after that intense match. So the MDT official is taking care of him, you know, going to get him taken care of. Over here we have Dolph Ziggler, and same thing as AJ Styles. You know, he did lose in a great effort to John Cena, so he's just sort of recovering there. Got his hood on, doesn't really want to talk to nobody. Probably has his iPhone or his iPod going in his ears there, just trying to get back in the mood, trying to get motivated again after that uh, a tough loss to John Cena, MDT sold out. We do have the interviewing area with yours truly interviewing the elite champion Kenny Omega. So he's looking good over here, guys. Um, still love that interview seg uh, that setup right there. I love the way that looks. It just looks so official. But we do have the uh, the MDT elite champion Kenny Omega. I'm interviewing him, asking you know what is his thoughts on losing to Bron or destroying Braun Strowman. He, he took care of Braun Strowman with the help of his Bullet Club brothers. What does he think now that uh, Braun Strowman is gone? After what happened at the end of MDT sold out and just sort of getting his thoughts there so I'm looking good and fresh with my bow tie on I'm, I'm, I'm feeling myself right there I um, love the way that looks and then of course you do just have all of your uh, equipment set up around I love the way it just gives it that official feel you know you got uh, tables and chairs and stuff you got my stupid idiot phone right there um, we have just all the different equipment and stuff like that set up through the backstage but I am happy with it again I love this part of the backstage because you can literally remove that general manager's office from the middle and you can replace it with this cater catering table you can replace it with you know the medical area you can replace it with so many different things so that's what's so cool about this backstage setup you know back in the day i couldn't really do anything um it was how it was but now i can remove stuff add stuff with a ton of free range of motion to film all kinds of different stuff and i could even add the locker room area if i wanted to to the middle if i wanted to do a backstage segment in the locker room but I am pretty happy with this setup. I'm happy with the way the backstage turned out. Again, I think you guys did enjoy it. I read all the different comments. Thank you guys so much for that. But that pretty much does it for this WWE action figure setup, guys. Again, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the setup. Do you like the catering table here? Uh, do you like the GM's office setup? I personally like the GM's office. It gives it that official feel to the MDT backstage. But I think this is a change of pace. You know, you get the good table in there. You get all of the cool accessories and everything. I wish I had more food to add to the table because it's like a catering table, but there ain't no freaking food, Brad. So what are you, what are you doing? But uh, that pretty much does it for this action figure setup, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, leave your thoughts down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.